Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel CyberSec Live and today we are going to discuss about SOC Analyst career path or you can say how to become a SOC Analyst. So let's discuss one by one and let's see in the agenda what we have. We are going to discuss about what is SOC Analyst. What is the education required for becoming a SOC analyst? The skills required, certifications and the courses by CyberSec Live. Then we'll talk about some internships where you can do some internship that will be really helpful for you. Then we'll discuss about the salary. What do security analysts do? Right. This one is very important and security analyst job description. So these two sections are one of one of the very important thing. You, uh, you should watch this one. And at last we will discuss about some interview question tips. So uh, let's start from the what is a SOC analyst. A security operation center in short form we, we generally tell it uh, as SOC analyst is a frontline cyber security professional that is placed in a uh, in a team of other analyst and expert. So it, it is always a as a frontline uh, you can say uh, analyst who working for the for that organization these groups will either serve a single entity exclusively or be used as an outsource security for multiple clients so the position of a SOC analyst is a beginner position designed for recruits in the field of information security uh, definitely as a SOC analyst there is different different job roles uh, we will discuss about those things as well but of uh, Firstly, let's see about the different labels of SOC analyst. So basically there are three labels, whether you say tier one, tier two or tier three, or you can say level one, level two or level three. Now, the, what is the role of those three different levels of SOC analyst? So tier one triage means monitoring. The, the role of tier one is monitoring uh, and you can say investigation as well. So SOC triage analyst we can say now whatever the things let's say uh, that tier one analyst is not able to investigate at that much level. So he escalated that that analyst is going to be escalated to tier two. Now tier two is going to investigate all those things SOC inv investigation analyst right. So the role of tier two is investigate all those things or whatever uh, they receive from tier one and apart from that. The, uh, the role is also to support the tier one about all the possibilities that how they can monitor how uh, they can investigate the other things. Now what after tier two? So after tier two there is tier three. Mainly the, the main role of tier three is threat hunting and you can say the forensics. So if, if there is something very high level which is uh, tier two is not able to uh, you can say investigate they directly escalate to tier 3 for because tier 3 have the much access than tier 3 and they have much experience as well so these were the uh, some three different labels now uh, similarly i have just written all those things whatever i have just uh, uh, tell you uh, tier 1 that is known for triage tier 2 for the investigation tier 3 for the threat hunting you can you can just stop that video and you can read these whatever the things I'm not going to read all those things but still you can just stop the video and read all those things whatever we have tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 now what is the education required so it's very simple you should have a, some a graduate degree or uh, whether it's VCA, BTEC in computer science, in cyber security, whether it's a specialization. Sometimes many companies, many organization, organization also looks for the diploma in CS. So they also hire the diplomas as well. So uh, if you, let's say if you are from mechanical engineering, you, you are doing some mechanical engineering, uh, maybe electronics. Uh, but you have some interest and you have some knowledge regarding the cyber security then you can also uh, also re apply for this role as well so the minimum minimum degree uh, you can say required that is a graduate one now skills required the soft skills what is the soft skills i mean the the common one you can say the collab collaboration uh, skill uh, you should have some collaboration skill critical thinking some something innovative thinking uh, inquisitiveness and pressure resistance if you have the pressure all the pressures right 
and then at that time you you should be responsible definitely you are going to be responsible for the all the things but in those pr pressure scenes you will have to cover all those things so that is one of the very important thing that how you handle the pressures and the hard skills network defense that is very important you should uh, know about that network defense computer forensic and incident response now important skills that is uh, i have from my side uh, this is recommended so if you should know about the programming skills right so you should know some some of the programming languages at least you are able to identify those languages attention to detail so whenever you are getting any of the ticket right then you should uh, be uh, attentive to to check all those ticket and what is the working what is the investigation you have to do each and everything so attention to detail collaboration skill is very important you should have communication skill is always important right so it, it is important because if somebody is from america and you are from india then definitely there is going to be some some ga something gap in the communication so your communication skills is too good should be good next one investigate email investigation which is very important from my side because 95 percent to 97 percent of the attacks happen through uh, phishing email in emails so if you are not able to uh, know the how to uh, you can say uh, analyze all those emails then uh, we have already a course and we will talk about the after that slide important port numbers is very important if you don't know the, uh, which services is running on port number 445 what is uh, 68812 right uh, what is the port number 25 what, what is the services running on port number 22 389 uh, port number 80 443 so these are the some some very important port numbers and you should know about those things uh, same such as SQRadar and Splunk, you should some something aware about this SQRadar and Splunk. That is what it is exactly, right? So there is also a free course Splunk. I have uh, already uh, talked very much uh, on this uh, on this specific SQRadar and Splunk, and I also have given the free link of Splunk from where you can learn each and everything of fundamentals one regarding Splunk. Now the certification. What the certification you needed? so basically you just needed some knowledge you you don't need any certification but yeah as a fresher if you don't have anything then uh, i would recommend that you if, if you have some certified ethical hacker a ch certification certification that is very good but uh, apart from that if you have knowledge the knowledge is more important than the certification right so guys if you are CompTIA network plus that is very uh, a good certification CompTIA security plus CompTIA or cyber security analyst CompTIA advanced security practitioner these are the some certification for out of these uh, I would like to just uh, tell you that uh, CHV is very important you should go for that and apart from that you can go for the CompTIA security plus now courses by cybersec live we have four courses email investigation we already uh, this is a recommendation one right uh, you should check this uh, this course uh, you can found this uh, this uh, uh, you can see link in the description bug bounty course SOC analyst course and certified ethical hacking course so these are the four uh, courses we have and SOC analyst and certified ethical hacking course are uh, is in the upcoming list and bug bounty and email is already has been released and you can get this link you can get this course by just uh, checking in the description now internships uh, you can check for the internships of cyber security wherever you are uh, getting any opportunity in any organization re regarding the uh, cyber security internship then you can check for the intern chala linkedin you can linkedin, LinkedIn is, is one of the very important platform where you should uh, make your connections make your networks strong in on linkedin so that in in future you can take the uh, referral from them organizations web portal you can go through the organization web portal and check what what are the internships are available there glassdoor indeed nokri.com these are the some uh, job searching website from where you can register and definitely these these are the platforms is going to be very helpful for you now if we talk about the some salary uh, what is the uh, salary of uh, SOC analyst the, uh, as an average of 2021 that is 6.5 LPA uh, there is a, a salary of SOC analyst and now what do security analysts do definitely as I said uh, 
the main name main, the main work of them is monitoring right uh, investigation all the alerts threat hunting all those things but still you can just read all the these things because i'm not going to uh, waste your time just by reading all those things you can also read the, these things right and security analyst job description as i said in well email investigation working on same tools and investigate and monitoring the traffic right apart from this there is lot of things uh, maintaining the firewall to pro uh, to protect the confidential information and uh, uh, develop and carry out regular risk assessment to ensure that uh, security best practices are being met so all these things you can just read uh yeah now at last i'm coming on the interview question steps so now see uh, guys you have to think about that the it is divided into the two to three things the first one is very basics uh, the very basics the questions like uh, uh, they can ask you that what is the difference between services and threat right what is the difference between vulnerability threat and risk right so these are the some basic question now the protocol questions protocol questions they will ask they are like uh, from osi model layer from network layers they will ask uh, 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 which which layer belongs to a uh, protocol of uh, http right so definitely http uh, http belongs to application layer now and at the last one uh, which is very important scenario based question now so how the how they will ask the scenario based questions uh, so let's let's take an example of BitTorrent, right? So they will ask you uh, that uh, you got one. They they can ask you directly the question that how you will identify the traffic of a uh, BitTorrent, or they can ask in this way that uh, uh, you got an alert and there is some port number uh, six eight eight one two six nine nine nine. Then uh, what you will do? Uh, what is your process? Right. So this is the scenario based. And second one is that. Uh, let's say example of malware they will say you you received one of the malware then what is your process how you will do how you will escalate what is what will be your investigation what will be your steps what will be your process in this way they ask the scenario based questions so that's it guys and uh, if you like the video then subscribe and share the video bye bye take care